Why is it easy to remember some games exist and not others? Well, I know the answer. I'm going to show you. New Soup Just like Soup, it's not really new. In fact, it's either as new as YouTube, as new as when I started using YouTube, or as new as the average Yo Mama and Yo Yo. But I'm not here to discuss that. What I'm going to discuss is the more big, huge problem New Super Mario Bros. has had since the first game. Though it was only apparent starting with 2, the game after Wii, and was actually the third game. Yeah, this series is confusing. Firstly, there are 5 unique games in this franchise, but none of them actually feel unique to most people. Yes, the levels are different, and they polish the style throughout the titles, but you can't deny that at a quick glance, you will be confused that this is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and this is New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Yeah, Adam, you thought I was gonna do the different thing, but it looks the same thing kinda thing. Also, both of these are New Super Luigi. <laughs> Secondly, even if these games had all different styles that were a bit more unique, it doesn't help either, as mechanically all of the games play the same and you have the exact same goal in all of the games. The whole new spiel never made any sense since this is not something building completely new of the pre-established formula from the Super Mario Bros. 3 or Super Mario World. No, it's just new level and gimmicks the series. However, I personally think something around gaming is far more forgettable than this. But not on first sight. Remember the impossible quiz? Riddle School? Homest oh no, not the stock at home. We generally tend to forget stuff just exists, since over time people lose interest over something as they develop different interests like speedrunning, hacking, cooking mama, or making unfunny anime memes. For example, even if you have been watching YouTube since Ray William Johnson, it's very unlikely you're still watching Equals 3, Funny Blood, Splatter, Edgy Humor, and may have now moved on to Linux tech tips, shouting random words, and numbers on the screen. And this more than applies to a game I like, but it's basically unplayable now. King of Thieves. The main game promise is you're a thief and steal other thieves. The game came out in 2014. I mean, you can still play it nowadays, but it loses so much of its charm because it's incredibly unlikely your lair is to ever get. <laughs> Most dungeons are just the generic ones that they give you by default, and after seeing the same layouts over and over again, it just stops being fun. And then you forget about the game's existence to then look up another game and then forget it as well. I should talk about that, right? If you're not a game developer or actively looking for new indie games to play on YouTube, that ain't me. you might not even know what a devlog is. Basically, a developer documents the process of making their game. When a developer makes a devlog series, they usually just say what the project is and what they want to do, maybe show some early progress, but apart from that, not much. Then by pure gave new old miracle, the first devlog that they make it just gets super popular. With this newfound success, the developer makes a new devlog only to find that as the series goes on, more and more people start to exponentially leave the series. And quite noticeably, like, but why? Well, what I like to call the devlog 0 slash 1 effect comes down to a simple factor, unsustainability. It's incredibly easy to forget something if it doesn't stick to you. For example, I certainly know that Hollow Knight is a game I play, but it didn't really resonate with me and I kinda didn't like it, so I just forgot that I rented and ended up in a gaming prison for disliking it. People just look at the first video in a series to look what the game might be, see if they're interested and continue watching if they are. However, that's not the majority of people. The majority of people probably doesn't even know how game development works and expect the game to be RTX and open world and fucking and then they see that it takes a long time to get that to the point, most don't even want to do that, and the first tip is actually quite humble and simple, so they just don't bother afterward. 